Welcome back to the show, everyone. A new child care center for teen moms is being developed and they need your support. We want to welcome Hope House founder Lisa Steven and mom Maritza to the show. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. We're super excited. Yes, definitely. Well, what you guys are doing is incredible. So Lisa, I want to start with you. What is Hope House? Can you walk us through your mission? Yes, so the mission of Hope House Colorado is to help parenting teenage moms to become self-sufficient. Yes. We have a housing support program. So many of our moms, especially since COVID, have been struggling with in, inadequate housing. Mm -hmm. um, we have an early learning and uh, school age support program for our little ones while their moms are working on all of the things they need to do to become self-sufficient. And our Empower program, which is our, our biggest program, we offer GED, college and career, financial literacy, counseling, parenting classes, pretty much anything you can think of to wrap around our teen moms to help them reach their goals of becoming self-sufficient. That is so incredible. You guys are not only giving the moms such an incredible way to start off their journey of being mothers, but also the kids a great way too to start off their journey of life. This is so great. So how did you get the idea to start this organization? Well, actually my husband and I were teenage parents, so that was really the beginning of, um, of my just kind of understanding of what it's like to be a teenage mom and sort of the, the judgment and the challenges that they face. Um, and then began working with teenage moms in a support group setting and realized that 67% of teen moms live below the poverty line, which is, um, that was really startling to me yeah. and really um, drew attention to the fact that there are so few resources for our teen mothers. Absolutely, well, I think that the work you guys are doing is so important, especially when it comes to making sure that these moms and their kids have a really great start to becoming a family, which is so important here. Okay, so what's new at Hope House that we can look forward to? So we're super excited. We're breaking ground next month on an 11,000 square foot early learning center. Mm -hmm. um, Childcare is one of the number one barriers our moms face in order to become self-sufficient. Yes. We actually in Colorado have uh, basically a childcare desert with only one childcare spot available wow. for every three children who need one. Oh my and goodness. if you're on CCAP, which is the Colorado child care assistance program, which all of our moms are, it's even harder to find a spot. So we will have 100 spots for the children of our teenage moms and we'll be removing that barrier so they can go to school full time or work full time and keep moving forward. Wow, that is so wonderful, Lisa. I'm so proud of the work you guys are doing. Thank this is you. so cool. Okay, so how many moms would you say you guys serve? So we serve about 250 moms every year from all around the, the Denver metro area. Amazing. Okay, well, Maritza, I want to come to you. First of all, we saw a photo of you in your sweet little girl. Tell me all about her first. Yeah, so that's me and my daughter Camila. She's two years old and I've we've both been a part of Hope House since I was uh, since she was born. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, she is so sweet. I, I'm sure you are so proud of her as a mom too. Tell us about your involvement with Hope House and what it's meant to you to go through, you know, so many programs with them and be able to help out um, Camila to to grow a little too. So I became a part of Hope House at a very vulnerable part of my life. Mm -hmm. I was only 17, I was pregnant, you know, getting ready to become a mom. And I really didn't have anything planned or figured out for my life or my daughters. Yeah. And I got connected to Hope House through my high school. And since I joined, they helped me with everything that me and my daughter could possibly need. They've given us the resources and we've y used those and really it's helped us a lot. Incredible. Well, I know that there are probably other teen moms out there, or even parents of teen moms who are thinking, oh my goodness, where do we start? What do we do? Would you recommend they go to Hope House? Oh, help? yes. I've recommended friends and family and yeah. they're blessed just to be a part of Hope House because anything that they need, it's there for them. That is so incredible. Again, Lisa, the work that you're doing, how does it feel to hear Maritza's story and I'm sure see so many others like hers? I mean, our moms are, we always say at Hope House that we're a bunch of mama bears for our mamas. <laughs> yeah. um, we just love them so much, just truly and deeply. And to, to watch her grow and to see her shine and she's going to school now and working and has her first apartment. We are so incredibly proud of her. And Camila is growing and finally in childcare. It took a long time for uh, Maritza to find childcare for Camila and she has to drive all the way across town because it was the only spot she could find. So it's like an hour each way in the car every day oh my um, just to get to childcare. So we can't wait until we have our center open and she gets to come to Hope House for, for school. Definitely. Well, how can our viewers help you 
you guys, Lisa, if they're watching at home. I know you have a special event coming up too. Yes. Tell us about all of that. Yes, thank you so much for asking. We are, we've raised about $4 million, which is incredible, but we still have another $1 million to raise yes. in order to open this center. Uh, we have enough to break ground, but we really want to um, open this center debt-free. That's important to us. Um, so people can go to our website, hopehousecolorado.org, mm -hmm. um, if they're interested in learning more or giving. And we have a pancake breakfast and ground opening happening on Saturday, April 1st at 9 in the morning. Amazing. Well, before I let you both go, Maritza, I want to come to you quickly, too. If there was something that you could say to Lisa and all of the women at Hope House who have helped you, I mean, what would you, what would you say? <laughs> I would just say thank you so much, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you truly made an impact in my life. And when I got there, I thought it was too good to be true, but it wasn't. It was just God sent, and it's helped me and my family so much. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank ladies, you. thank you both so much. Lisa, thank you for the work that you do. And Maritza, we can't wait to see everything that you do and everything that Camila does, too. She sounds incredible. Thank, thank you. you, ladies. Thank of you. Of course. Well, guys, this is an incredible, incredible program. You can head to hopehousecolorado.org to learn more about the organization. And don't forget to check out that Pancake Breakfast. That's on Saturday, April 1st at 9 a.m. to help out moms just like Maritza.